Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the newest code version, which is code 21 Omega, to your Fire Stick or Android 3. The whole process is really easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you have to get an app called the Loader. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on your device, here it is, and in the search bar start typing the Loader. As you can see, it already popped out for me at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter whole name of the app. We click on the loader, and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after we get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are, open them. Then go to My Far TV, open it. And here we'll have to enable developer options for your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Far TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is, let's open it. And here we have the loader, which we set up to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service, in fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Denmark right now, and from the moment we connect, all our internet traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track us or snoop on us online, and that's extremely important if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your Fire Stick or on your TV, then just grab your phone or computer, open up a web browser and type topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to send you to the best NordVPN offer. And now let's use the loader safely. So now let's finally open the loader. On the left side menu, make sure to click on Home, that's important. And in here, in that search bar, we'll have to type a link, which is going to be Cody. Dot TV. So once again, the link is code.tv. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes, because obviously, if you make a mistake, the link is not going to work. Then we click on go, and now the Kodi website should open for us. Yep, here it is. Now we click on that sandwich button and scroll down until we see the download. Click on download, and a new page has opened for us now. Just scroll down a little bit. And we'll have to click on Android here. It does not matter if you're using a Fire Stick, Android Box, Chromecast, all those devices are Android based, so we need to download Android version. So we click on it, scroll down, and for my Fire Stick, I'll be using the ARM v7a or 32 bit version of the app. So we click on it, and now in a couple of moments, the download should start for us. Now just click on install right here. And after the app gets installed, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, then click on delete and delete. This way we have erased the unnecessary installation files from your device, so they would not clog the memory of your Fire Stick. Now let's go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, let's open it, and there is the Kodi app which we just installed to your Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote, that's the button three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. 
This way, Kodi app is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. And then don't forget to use a VPN to stay safe and private online. Once again, you can use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below or in the description to get three months of NordVPN totally for free. Or just go to top VPN offer to get the same deal. Hope the video was helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.